so I will just take three minutes to um, talk to you about the High 2022 Evaluation Lab, for which we have just been releasing the data uh, two hours ago. So I think that's a good moment to, to introduce this uh, here. So High stands for uh, identifying historical people, places, and other entities. And uh, this is a shared task on name entity processing in multilingual historical documents, which uh, span the 19th, from the 18th century to the 20th century. I think I don't need to introduce you why such a task on such material. On the one hand, we have large scale digitized uh, uh, archive, and on the, one, on the other hand, we have humanities scholars who are eager to retrieve documents from this archive and explore their contents. Uh, but information extraction and name entity recognition are crucial uh, in this regard and uh, they are challenged by historical documents. This is why we organize such a shared task or evaluation campaign in order to uh, improve performance of, of tools. So in, that's really our objective of this uh, evaluation lab uh, is to assess and advance uh, the development of robust, adaptable, and transferable name entity processing system. In this case, across time, across period, across uh, language and document type. So Hive 2022 is a follow-up of the first edition in 2020, two years ago, which focused on uh, name entity processing on newspapers in three languages where 13 teams participated. This year, uh, the shared task will confront system with the challenge of dealing with more languages, uh, of learning domain specific entities and adapting to diverse annotation schema. So compared to the first edition, uh, Hive 2022 uh, introduced several novelties with the consideration of a broader language spectrum with five languages for historical newspaper and three for classical commentaries. I will introduce the data set in the next slide. Uh, we consider a new type of document and uh, we will as well ask system to be able to deal with different annotation types and annotation guidelines, which is often a real life uh, setting because we have data sets which follow different, uh, different specificity, different uh, uh, settings. Obviously there is really a challenge of uh, noisy OCR and of scarcity of resources. So the evaluation lab uh, aim at uh, uh, contributing to gain new insight on how best to ensure the transferability of an entity processing approach across language, time period, and document time. So for the second edition, the task uh, will be the same as for the first edition with two tasks, an entity recognition and classification and entity linking. I think I don't need to, to, to introduce uh, more uh, detail in this regard. Uh, what's perhaps more interesting is the data which we have been releasing uh, just uh, today. So uh, the lab corpora is composed of historical newspapers and classical commentaries, uh, which we call, they originate from different projects and we call them primary data sets. Um, and they were published Either they were published previously in, uh, in other projects or they are kept uh, hidden in order to, for us to, to, to run the shared task and to have the test data freshly uh, non-published but freshly published for the evaluation task. Um, you can see in the table on the top right, the list of uh, projects and the list of data sets that we have been uh, assembling and preparing for the, this task. Uh, we release them as a high 22 release, uh, which correspond to a single package of neatly structured and homogeneously formatted primary data sets. So the work here is really to bring all these data to the same format, uh, the same uh, IOB uh, setting, etc., so that system can can learn easily from from this. And we have just been releasing this on the repository of which you see a screenshot here on the screen. In terms of evaluation setting, uh, we use the traditional metrics of precision recall and F1. That's, that's classical um, 
We have one specificity, however, is that uh, we are confronted with uh, uh, quite some different facets and a large combinatory of task, language, document type, entity type set. And to accommodate this, we define tracks and challenges. Track is, uh, is, is a track composed of a data set language task combination and a challenge is a bag of tracks. So it's kind of, uh, it can be seen as a, as a kind of tournament of championship with, with multiple tracks. So, so teams which will participate in the evaluation lab can choose uh, the type of uh, data set they want to run for, the language that they want to run for, and the task being name entity recognition or entity linking to, to make it short. We specifically evaluate three challenges. One focus on newspaper, multilingual, uh, with a focus on multilinguality. Another one is the same uh, for classical commentary uh, documents. And a third challenge uh, aiming at combining everything, uh, which we call the global adaptation challenges. So the more track a team submit for a given challenge, uh, the more chances they have to, to win the challenge. Um, it's perhaps a bit complex this setting, but it's really like uh, Olympic games, and, and you have uh, you have tracks, and you try to win all of them uh, in order to win the final uh, things. And here is a list of possible combination of data sets, task, and language. So there is thirty five possible tracks, which uh, which is quite uh, quite some possibilities. And uh, now that the data is out, we hope that uh, our team will develop a nice system to tackle all this, uh, all this difficult uh, data. That's it. If you want to, to know more, I encourage you to, to check the participation guidelines, which explain all these settings and obviously uh, the website. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Maud.